you to begin with the Canaan Summit one more time. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand for you. Amen. 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 Gave us time to get our spirit Amen. of expectation Amen. high, high, high. Amen. God is about to do something today in the Kingdom Summit he's never done before. So open your ears and get your heart all ready because the King has something Amen. to say. Amen. And when the King says something, it is so. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, it is so. It is so. Amen. It is so. It is so. It is so. Yeah. We're going to ask Pastor Palmer to come and open us up in a word of prayer. Amen. Amen. How many of you excited? Amen. Let us bow our heads in the prayer. Our Father and our God, as again we come with humble hearts and open minds, we come, Father, first of all, just to thank you. Thank you, thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Thank you, thank you, Father, that you are God of purpose and you created everything with a purpose. So, Father, we thank you for the purpose that you have for our life. And, Father, as we come... We thank you for the grace yes. that you graced us with to be here. Yes. So yes. Thank you for those who come yes. near us and those yes. who come before. Yes. Yes. Father, we just pray you use us. Yes. Use these yes. down your people, yes. Father. Yes. In the kingdom, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. We just thank you that you are God. We just thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in this place. Father, we give you, we give you praise and we give you glory and give you honor. Because we trust you, Lord. Yeah. We just give you all. Uh, Hallelujah. Just have your way. Yeah. Lord, you move the way that you want to move. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We just give a way to you, Father. Yeah. I look behind the cross, God, that you see none of us but all of you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, oh, Father, we just thank you for the wisdom to understand and knowledge of your kingdom, Father. Give us the wisdom, Lord. Help us, Lord, to hear what the Lord is going to say today. Father, that we may be doers of the word, not hearers. Lord, yes, Lord. That somebody that might come to the bleeding side of the cross, yes, yes, what yes. must I do to be saved? Yes, we yes. thank you, Lord. Thank it's you. time we're for releasing God. We thank you for the kingdom. We thank you for the kingdom of power. We thank you, Father, in the kingdom we had rights. So God, we thank you for the right. Thank you for those where it comes today. Thank you for the men of God and the women of God. We have come, Father, to share words on this day. God, we just want to get out the way so you can have your way. So we praise you. Give you honor. Give you honor. For it is in the blessed name of Jesus that we do pray in our hearts. Say amen. Amen. Thank them for being a part of the summit. How many of you are excited about what God is doing? Yeah. 
and we're not going to produce that in this generation. And I was sitting there and I was like, my daughter, he said, so therefore five families have suffered because you yeah. didn't understand purpose yeah, yeah. of the kingdom. Come on. Kingdom is about community. Yes, sir. And don't get me wrong, God will put you at a status where you can do both. Uh -huh. But when you understand purpose, Promise come, you already know what to do with it. Amen? Amen. We're going to deal here in, 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 in Proverbs 19, 24. The scripture says this. There are many devices, and where devices also in some interpretations said plans, yeah, yes, in a man's heart. Yeah. It said, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. it's the counsel of the Lord yeah. that just stand. Amen. In that scripture text alone, it's talking about purpose. Yes. Yeah. It said, many plans and devices in a man's heart, but nevertheless, it's the counsel or the purpose yeah. of the Lord that shall stand. All right. And what you're dealing with here, we're dealing with the original intent All right. of God. The original intent. And what you have to understand is, the original intent of God, you have to go back to Genesis 1 and 1. All right, to really understand the original intent yeah. of God. Yeah. And what here is the writer in Proverbs, what he's saying is that in your life, you're gonna have many decisions yep. to make. Yeah. 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 You're gonna have many decisions to make. And what happens is if you don't understand purpose, yeah. you'll find yourself making decisions based on needs yeah, yeah. rather than purpose. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And too many of us are making decisions based on needs rather than purpose. Wow. Prophet Vini puts it this way. He said, allow your decisions to be governed by purpose. Yeah. See, there are many other things that I could be doing this morning, but purpose requires me to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And as I lay there this morning, I begin to dream, and God began to tell me that there's many places of process. Mm -hmm. wow. Process. You can be in the midst of a process, but there are certain levels and degrees of process that will release you to different areas in your life. Mm -hmm. But the process is not totally over yet. All right. Uh, yeah. That's right. And I'm saying, wow. And I was asking this class today, do you recognize or understand the place that you are in in process? Wow. So what he's saying here is this, that there's many plans in your life, but God will change your plans by way of process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God will change your plans by way process has caused me to see Kingdom Summit Ministries more important they get paid about $40 or $50 an hour this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Process. Hmm. Process. I couldn't have said this years ago. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. But see, here the writer is trying to let us know that you have many plans. Uh -huh. But until you understand purpose, your plans will never line up with purpose. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. It won't line up with purpose. Yes, sir. And see, in order to get to that place in God, you have to go through a process. All right. All right. You have to go through a process. Yeah. See, what, what this does is this. Anything that competes with the original intent of God for our lives will initiate a process. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anything in your life that competes with the original intent of God, yes, which right. is purpose, yeah, yeah. it initiates a process. Yes, yes, sir. All right. It initiates a process. And what it does is this process is designed to bring us into divine alignment with the original intent of God. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This process is designed to bring us into the, into the divine alignment. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you feel like I feel this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. There's nothing else on my schedule that is more important today than this. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Oh, oh, oh. When you've been processed.
Yes. For the kingdom, yeah. your decisions will change. Yeah. 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 Ain't talking religion now. Yeah. Ain't talking church. Yeah. Yeah. But there's many church services I will not attend this morning. Yeah. But when I'm walking in purpose, yeah. Yeah. I have to be here this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Before my mother met my father, I was already destined to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Many plans and devices are in a man's heart, but nevertheless, it's the counsel, it's the purpose of God that's gonna stand. So, what you saying here? I'm saying that you will create a process in your life to call the original intent of God to stand in your life. Yes, All right. All right. Because you'll be fighting against the original intent of God. And it causes you to go through a process. Amen. <laughs> and according to the level or degree that you release yourself and your will, yeah. that determines the length of the process. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. It determines the length of the process. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Help me in here. Yes, Help me in here. Real quickly, go to, go to Genesis 1. I'm going to show you how this thing folds, unfolds itself. should be very easy to find. Genesis 1 and 1. Can you dare say amen? Amen. amen. You have a problem finding this? Yeah. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> Genesis 1 and 1. Well, you, you understand this. Because we, we, Like I said, we're not going to produce. We're not going to produce a generation of prodigal sons and daughters. Thank God for prophecy. Thank God Amen. for that. Amen. 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 Genesis 1 and 1. Anybody just feel like you were you're supposed to be? Amen. I, I just, I just, it just, I have been to a many summits. Yes, sir. And, 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 Prophet, and Pastor Gerald is being in agreement with me. But for some reason, I know I am yeah. where I'm supposed to be uh -huh. this morning. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Something yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Something yeah. about it. Listen to this. The scripture says in Genesis 1 and 1, it says, in the beginning, God. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, yeah. God. All right. Yes, sir. See, when you want to understand kingdom, uh -huh. you have to start here. Yes. Uh -huh. In the beginning, God. All right. See what happens is many people think kingdom is a New Testament teaching. Yes, sir. But kingdom is the original intent of the Father. Yeah. So when I say in the beginning God, that's it. most of you all think that's God who he is. Mm -hmm. God is not really his name. That's right. That's right. That's right. God is just a description yeah. Yeah. of who Elohim yeah. and Yahweh yeah. and Adonai. Yeah. 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 God is just a description. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, God means self-sustaining one. Yes, sir. It means self-existing one. Yes, it means he needs nothing outside of himself to exist. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, oh, right. 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 Real quickly, hold your breath real quick. Uh, uh, mm. How long can you hold it? You have to stop a while, don't you? Yeah. That dismiss you from being God. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you need God's air yes, yes, yes. to survive. Yes, yes, yes. So what he's telling here, he says, in the beginning, God. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm self-sustaining. Yes. I'm self-existing. He said, I don't need nothing outside of myself to exist. Amen. That's what it means. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Many plans and advices in a man's heart. But nevertheless, he's saying here, he said, I need nothing outside of myself. Amen. This is a description yes, sir. of who Elohim yes, sir. Adonai yes, yes, sir. and all of them are. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. See, the, see, in the Hebrew tongue, that word Adonai, the Elohim, is very tricky. Uh -huh. Elohim is a plural meaning, yeah. but yet singular in name. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 It has a plural meaning, but similar in meaning also. It confuses the dictionary. What he's saying is this. I'm one God, or one deity, but I have many attributes and characteristics. Yes, sir. He said, I'm one God, but I have many attributes and characteristics. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. that dwells within him. Yeah. But see, then he come down and he said, he said, then he said some verb. He said, and he created the heaven and the earth. Yes. See, this, 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 this is kingdom here now. Yeah. See, in order for us to be like him, come on, God. Come on. He had to create the earth before he created us. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. See, God is a king. He's a king. Yes. Yes. And in order for us to be created in his likeness, in his image, he made us kings and queens. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. A king is not a king unless he has a territory to rule. Right. Right. So had he created us first, yeah. then he would have been a lion. Wow. Yeah. Because we could not be in his image, in his likeness. Because we never had a territory right. or what the scripture calls a domain. That's right. Right. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Right. He said, so now I gotta create the heavens and the earth. Heaven will be my domain uh -huh. that I'm gonna rule over. Yeah. But I'm gonna give the earth to my children. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get the earth to them. Too. Yeah. Amen. So that they can rule over. Yeah. 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 They can rule over. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Elohim. Yes, sir. Yes, him. Yes, him. The self-existent one, yeah. yeah. self-sustaining one, yeah. Yeah. but yet he will create a species called man. Yeah. Yeah. What was the reason that he would create a species called man? If he don't need nothing outside of himself to exist. See, God is love. Yeah. Yeah. And love is an action word. Yeah. Yeah. Love has to express itself. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, in order for me to express myself, I could, I got to create something else. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. My God. Come on. My God. Then he come down and he said something interesting. Mm -hmm. He said in verse 2, he says that earth was without form mm -hmm. and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Yeah. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Mm -hmm. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen to this. He said the earth was out form, the darkness. Mm -hmm. That represents chaos. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And then he came down he said, then God, spirit of God moved. And he said, God said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. That's the institution of kingdom government. That's right. What is the purpose of government? Government is to bring order to chaos. Yes. Yes. That's why people come down to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. He said, Unto us a child is born, mm -hmm. yes. a son is given, and the yeah. what? And the government yeah. shall be upon his shoulder. Yeah. And upon the increase of his government and his righteousness, his kingdom shall reign forever. Yeah. See, what happened here, God was introducing his government in the earth. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. The earth was without form, oh, there was void, there was darkness. Then he said, Then he, the Spirit of God, said, let there be light. Yes. Light repels or pushes darkness out. Yes. God said, why there's so much going on in the earth? Because there's not much light in the earth right now. Darkness and light cannot dwell in the same space. Yes. But then he said something very funny over there in the Gospels. He said, you are the light of the world. So if the earth is dark, Whose fault is it? Because you are not allowing the light of the kingdom. You allow religion to force its way through things. Religion don't care like. Come on, come on. That's right. He said, You're the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. He said, No man puts a light or candle up and then put a bushel of acid right. on it. Right. Come on now. He said, you thought that the earth yeah. looked like yeah. it looked. Yeah. Woo. 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 Wow. wow. I'll prove it to you in a minute. I'll prove it to you. Go real quickly to Genesis 1, 